We begin with an update on road conditions after freezing rain and sleet coated the streets throughout the area. Northeast Arkansas News' Sarah Doan has the latest from Jonesboro City officials. Well, that's right. The city of Jonesboro Street Department has been hard at work since Monday treating roads around town. Mayor Harold Copenhaver says crews have been working around the clock in 12 hour shifts on top of working through the weekend to make sure the roads are back to a good condition. The so last night we obviously treated uh, the streets late uh, in the evening and early in the morning with more sand um, and thus the sun has come out now. Uh, so we will be clearing the roads. However, the additional snow and sleet added another layer to the fire and rounds of refreezing overnight is making conditions treacherous today. The street department is working throughout the weekend to ensure roads are cleared. So how long can you expect icy conditions? Hopefully by uh, the end of uh, tomorrow afternoon, early into the evening, uh, hopefully we can facilitate to get back to normal process. Crews started to clear high volume roads in town first, like Main Street and Caraway, with side roads and neighborhoods coming second. However, some crews are ahead of schedule. I've had several individuals text me saying thank you for coming in to get our neighborhood clean so now we can get out and about hopefully the best way possible. Mayor Copenhaver is encouraging everyone to stay at home until the roads are in good condition. Jonesboro Police along with departments from neighboring towns have been responding to numerous wrecks throughout the day. A lot more people are out driving and we are having a lot more accidents and people off in ditches today. So I'm still asking for the community to take this in mind when they get out, only if it's an emergency, please give us one more day. I think the streets uh, should be in much better shape for tomorrow and traffic as usual on the weekend, hopefully. Now the mayor does want to stress that you should only call 911 if you are in an emergency. He says the call center is being flooded with non-essential calls that can be handled in other city departments. Sarah Doan, Northeast Arkansas News, downtown Jonesboro. Today.